<laughs> getting back to your your journey how did um, vander how did vanderbilt come about for you you know what um we had a guy named reed tankersley on there uh, a good buddy i hadn't talked to him in i don't know how long but he was a tight end about 6'4 245 he played offense but he also played defense so when when they were watching his tape on offense, um, I mean, to, you know, his recruitment tape, when it went to defense, the coaches would began calling saying, well, we're confused. Who, who Are we supposed to be looking at this linebacker or this guy, Reed Tankers, because this linebacker is making all of the plays. And then they asked the coach about me and asked, you know, asked about my grades and stuff, and my grades were good. And, um, you know, and they offered me, they offered me. I mean, but that was last minute when he got that, uh, opportunity um, to get his tape into him, and I'm um, thank God for Reed, you know, because I pr probably wouldn't be who I am today. Um, but that's how they found me, man. Definitely, a hey, God always works in mysterious ways, man. <laughs> yes, yes, and that is that. That was definitely one of them because at the time I was committed, I think, to Arkansas. I had committed to Arkansas, and I was going to go play for Arkansas. But when coach kept talking about how good the education was, I just looked, I said, well, I can play football anywhere. Football is football. Okay, let's take it to the next level. Well, which one has the better education? Um, Reputation-wise, Vanderbilt was way far ahead of the, any of the opportunities that I had on the table. So I took, I went with Vanderbilt, just like my coach said. Hey, the first time you st stepped on the, the campus as a football mm -hmm. player, what was it like? as a uh, Vandy? You know, at Vandy, I, I went up there early and um, I, I lived in this, it's kind of a, it's like a house uh, with a couple of more players and I had to live in the attic and it was hot as I don't know what up there, man. It was hot, <laughs> you know, but I understood it because I haven't earned my keep yet. I haven't earned anything, you know, so um, I began working out with the guys and all of that stuff. I, I felt good. I mean, you really, it really doesn't feel the same when you first go there because I went so early and all the other students were gone. Most of the students were gone. So kind of had the campus semi to ourselves, but, um, it was good. I, I had a lot of fun, man. Just being, it was just my first time really being away like that. Um, you know, and the guys took me under the wings and um, helped me out with a lot of things, man. Um, showed me how to, how to, you know, be a college player, how to work out, and how I have to get my scheduling right and stuff like that. So I had an advantage in that area, um, which helped me out, you know, throughout my career. Definitely. So uh, <clears throat> the first mentioning football now, what was uh, the first padded practice like at Vanderbilt? I think I might have got knocked out first <laughs> at <padded> practice. <laughs> it was rough because, because you know, you want to go all out, but you just but it, you have to be more controlled at this level. Each level of football that you get to, you have to be able to control yourself. Um, you know, there's not you know high school. You know, you used to get crunk and get hype and <laughs> rah, just run and hit a brick wall. Well, in in college, that brick wall is moving. <laughs> and you know and it's big too so that was the difference and um yeah I had a rough time in the beginning man um you know I looked fast I could move I was pretty agile and stuff but you know it took me it took me a getting hit a couple of good times before I could really just get with the tempo and with it with the um with how hard the guys were hitting out here you know because linemen they do you dirty they sit on you and all that good stuff out there and <laughs> They embarrass you as a, you know, because you're, you're, you're a rookie. I mean, you're, you're a freshman, you know. What do you know? You don't know anything at that point. But um, but by the end of the day of practice, they were saying that this kid might be something. Definitely, man. Hey, going on to your career at Vanderbilt, uh, <clears throat> how was that process going day in and day out for uh, the production side of things at Vandy for you personally and on the field? Um, you know, after that first day of practice, man, um, from then on out, I was, you know, I was doing well 
but I was doing a lot of learning. Um, Jamie Duncan, who ended up being a third round pick that year, I was red shirted my freshman year, right? Um, behind him. And, you know, the thing about it is that I was, I was already, they knew that I was going to be a good player there, but I just, there was just nowhere for me to play. Carlton Hall played in the NFL. Anthony Jordan, I think went fourth round to the NFL. Those were the starters. So I was doing a lot of learning from behind those guys. Um, but I was I was dominating that you know after the first day man I was dominating from then on out, and um and as far as like off the field, you know I they do a really good job of um, helping you get adjusted, you know you have five thirty a study hall every morning you know what I mean to help That's you with your schoolwork and all that good stuff so that was a big help for me they they have a tremendous staff at Vanderbilt to help the athletes act academically, um, as well as uh, you know. And, 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 and athletics as well, but they really take athletic, I mean, academics really seriously there. And, um, you know, they don't, you know, there's no bread, bread, you know, um, basket weaving classes or nothing like that there. So they understand that kids are going to need help and they're going to need to learn how to be a college athlete at a school such as this. So they have a lot of stuff lined up for you that you have to do. You don't really have a choice. But so that helped me with that transition right there to, you know, get my scheduling down and know I'm going to be tired here. I got to rest at this time and stuff like that. So definitely all about preparation. So uh, yes, what was some of your favorite, <laughs> what was your favorite moments from your time at Vanderbilt? Man, um, I would have to say this guy, a cornerback named Russian Jones. And Russian, if, if Russian Jones is, watches this, he'll, he's going to go crazy on me about it. But I remember um, I was trying to, to figure out if I was going to leave to go to the pros early or not. And we were out partying one night, and um, he had this hat that his girlfriend had given him. And so I snatched the hat. I mean, we, I must have ran halfway across campus with this guy really chasing me to get this hat back. <laughs> and right when he was getting ready to get to catch me and getting close enough to catch me. I mean, he was, he was ticked off and I mean, he was upset and, and all my, all the buddies, everybody, it was probably like 30 of us laughing and just, you know, it was just one of those team football things I was doing. And as soon as he was getting ready to catch me, my buddy pulls up in the car and I get in the car and ride off. <laughs> and, and it was just the funniest thing. And then the next time, then later that night when I saw him again, he was so mad. He wanted to fight me about that hat. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I, I was just joking with one of my buddies about that, that played at Vanderbilt too. Uh, my buddy Lou Thomas, he was with the Chargers for a second there. And uh, we were talking about that incident. And he asked me the same question. What do I remember? And he said, I, I said, remember that hat I took from Russian Jones and started running with it? But, yeah, that was one of my best times, man, because, you know, we all got together and uh, after that and, you know, guys asked me was I going to leave and, was and you know, I, I really didn't want to leave my teammates, man. Definitely. But, you I did mean, the, I, I had – go ahead. You did the Luke Paul. <laughs> you remember that <laughs> on Merriweather? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Gotcha. And that was, <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that that was the funniest thing, man. I mean, we serious. We literally ran halfway across campus. Him Jeez. chasing me, and he's a cornerback. He's fast, so I'm moving and I'm juking and I'm running and all of this stuff. And man, when that when he's his face when they saw me get in the car and take off, it was just like, <laughs> oh man, come on now. I was like, yeah, I got you. I told you, young buck, I got you. 